to that new intro music. It's Josh, uh, our very own Josh, uh, coming up with some new tunes, uh, making us sound more professional than we really are. Huh? Dave, what do you think about the new tune? I like it. Hillbilly classic. Hillbilly. <laughs> Combination Hillbilly and Hey Now. The Hey Now Hillbilly. There you go. Easy. Well, today we've got something special, something new today on this episode. Uh, this is the beginning of a cooperation we started with Local Life. Local Life on Facebook. Just go to Local uh, Life. You'll find it. Uh, it's a great site for keeping up with uh, events in Krakow, concerts and um, other events and restaurant reviews and pubs and just anything and everything you need to know for going out on the town. It's great. And we thought it would be uh, cool to have somebody from Local Life come in and talk with us about uh, some of the upcoming events here in Krakow over the next month or so, find out what's going on. And we're happy to welcome Catherine from Local Life to uh, educate us on what's going on in the city. Catherine, welcome to the studio. Welcome to the Crackcast. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Let, let's get something clear here. Your job is to go to restaurants and pubs and clubs and stuff and hang out. Is that Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My job is just to be cool and, you know, stand there. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. How do you get that done? What, what's on the, what does the application for that job look like exactly? Um, well, you get recruited. Like, people just come into bars and they look around for the coolest person. And if it's you... Then they kidnap you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they put a bag over your head. You're held in a cellar for five days. <laughs> and if after those five days you're still cool, then you've got the job. And you're still into it. Um, still liking it. Well, they still keep me in the cellar. So I'll do, well, we'll do our best on that front. Uh, let's dive into it. Um, what's going on in the next three or four weeks or so that people should know about and uh, you know, stuff they'd be interested in checking out? Well, there's basically an infinite amount of stuff to choose yeah, from. Yeah, Krakow's really. got a lot of bars. You've got a tough uh, track uh, to cover, haven't you? Yeah, it's like panning for gold, but like amongst a whole bunch of gold. And then you've just got too much gold and you don't like really it. know what to do with it. There's a lot of good little spots, all right, isn't there? Yeah, there are. So, and we got a lot of festivals coming up. There's always a lot of festivals. And even though it's sort of coming into the rainy season, we've still got some really good stuff coming up. Concerts, of course, there's... Always at least five concerts every single night of the week going on. And the students are coming back at the end of the month. Maybe there's stuff uh, associated with that too, or is that it's not a busy time? I don't know. I'm always confused because I'm Australian. The the structure we have a different time of year, like summer and winter, and and uh, <laughs> summer and winter and school season. So oh, you turned around a little bit. Yeah, you're upside down. I'm always exactly because we're upside down. I'm sort of always surprised whenever it's something to do with any time of year. <laughs> so tell us more about the uh, the music festivals. Who's uh, who's headlining the, uh, these uh, incredibly exotic, youthful <laughs> jamborees that I used to go to when I was in my 20s? Well, in Krakow, as you should know, it's not about the headliners. We're much cooler than that. Oh, We've yeah, it's about the album tracks. Past yeah. that. It's about the unheadliners. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't you know anything, Dave? Come on. Sorry, dude. Yeah, you're getting old, man. I am. I'm well, really old. <laughs> right now we've got Sacrum Profanum going on. And that's been on since Tuesday this week. It'll be on till the 17th on Monday. So you've pretty much got the weekend to go and check it out now. And basically if you're in the middle of an existential crisis, it's either going to break you out of it or make it much, much worse. I went so. to Sacrum Profanum years ago. I don't know if they still have the same format now. But the finale, if that's the right word for it, was held in Nova Huta in the old steelworks there. Mm. And if you've never been there, you go to the, the main entrance and then we had to get on a bus that took us literally 10, 15 minutes away into this massive complex. It's much bigger than you think if you've never been there. And we went to the steel fountain, the place where they, you know, this huge things pour the liquid steel and whatnot. And the concert was in there and it was amazing. The venue was just unbelievable. And I think that's the whole idea of Second Profanum is to, to get artists and venues and just themes that are just off the wall but they 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 work and so i i i i still remember this is probably 15 years ago don't even remember who the performer was but i'll never forget being there even though i forgot everything else about it she's really like steel eh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah it was it was in a steel foundry come on sorry dude yeah it's awesome um i think craft work the the how would you describe craft work uh, the german industry industrial progressive weirdo I don't know what they, they had landed a few years ago so yeah very cool well i was looking into the headliners actually and into what's who's playing and what the different concerts are and the more i actually looked into the website and looked into all of these different things and talked to people i just got more and more confused they're very <laughs> mysterious 
and it basically says the artist and if you look up any of the things that it says there or that the people are telling you then it's just really abstract noises that actually sound a lot of them sound like steel plates rubbing together <laughs> actually <laughs> so it's pretty out there yeah it's pretty and it's all it's kind pretty, of a secret until you show up or, yeah pretty yeah. much there's it's it's really difficult to find any descriptions of what the concerts actually are you can find like that it's, it's a musical theater and there's like this person performing and this person performing and it says maybe some of the pieces but it will be a piece from like 1953 so it's unlikely it's the same person that created that piece and it doesn't really tell you much more than that so it's really intriguing so I guess the performance that I saw in a steel factory was pretty mainstream by comparison. To <laughs> yeah, I think they've really sort of dived into the metaphysical world since okay, then. So if you really want something uh, different, check out Sacrum uh, Profanum. Yeah? yeah, exactly. What else is on the agenda here, Kath? Well, also this weekend, I'll start off with this weekend. It's a bit easier, I guess. Put you in line. We've yeah. got um, on Saturday... There's District Day in Platz Volnitsa and a few other places, actually. District Day is, I think, quite a new thing. Maybe they've had it one year before. And it's basically celebrating the different districts of Krakow mm -hmm. in not necessarily related to the district kind of things. Like in Platz Volnitsa, they have a lot of concerts and workshops and some dance performances that will be going on all day. There's stuff with kids as well, like circus performances. And, of course, the usual markets that they always have up with all the all the delicious foods. But they've got workshops, for instance, with a lot of different kinds of dance. They have Irish dancing workshops. To be sure, to be sure. <laughs> um, you'll see him in him down there. In his, <laughs> in his whatever He'll the, be there at 3.30. <laughs> uh, what's the nice. Irish version of a kilt? I don't know. <laughs> um, there's also English dancing. I guess that's just... Whatever that is. Whatever. It's like Jagger, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of the, um, a bit less hip thrusting. Um, <laughs> How and a does bit this tie in with uh, this district, by the way, the whole Irish? Thing? I can't figure that quite out. Them, huh? They it's love these just... type of concerts, don't they, in Krakow? The budget <laughs> must be enormous for uh, putting up steel um, stages all over the city. Yeah, uh, I they... think they're just addicted to the stages. They, you know? <laughs> they love those like, stages. Like, whoever's in charge of it, he just put up the first one, and then that was it. <laughs> he was in love. and Yeah, there's also Afro performances like African dancing. There's the performances as well as the workshops, so you can go watch it and then you can... Bit of drama. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is actually, but on Saturday, I mean Sunday, at ZPT mm -hmm. in Donik Mwinov. Oh. Do you guys know Donik Mwinov? Yeah, it's so trendy down there. It's the, <laughs> it's the hipster capital of Krakow, and that's saying something in a hipster city like Krakow. I mean, I was very impressed, I have to say. Yeah, and it's even more hipstery because they're going to pull it down in a couple of years. Do you think, is that so really I mean, going to happen because yeah, of the asbestos? Is that... <laughs> I didn't hear about the asbestos. I, I heard thought there it was, was uh, there was a story. In, well, you know, I'm sure that, <laughs> that, that plays a role in it too. But they were trying to get the building condemned for years. A company, all right. So, uh, yeah, so a yeah. bit of both, a bit of asbestos, Possibly, a yes. bit of corporate green. Same That'd be a tragic same loss same. to the city. I'll tell you that much. We're going to have to uh, do a special piece about the uh, possible demise of Donny Milnich. Yeah, but you've got a chance to go enjoy it while it lasts. Anyway, on. On Sunday, they've got also workshops. They've got art and craft workshops, architectural workshops. Don't know what that would be. Well, circle my calendar for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Theatre, computer game making, and, yeah, drumming, like you said. So to get your drumming in, head to Donik Minov on Sunday. There's Am also I? a picnic. Wait, I'm a bowl of G&T. Dave, what do you figure an architectural workshop looks like? What do you do at architectural workshop? I don't know. You learn how to, uh, you know, sketch roofs. Moving on. I'll see you then. <laughs> um, also this weekend, we can... Have you guys actually, going back to Nova Huta, have you heard that they have kayaking in Nova Huta? No. In, like, in water, that kind of kayaking? Like, in water. Prob I, I, I just, it, you know, just think of all the pollution, right? You just think <laughs> sort of of the steelworks. You imagine people sort of <clears throat> like kayaking through Nova melted Huta, no. steel. But... Actually, surprisingly, there's a lot of nature all around, like really beautiful, pristine kind of nature around Nova Huta, and you can go kayaking down all these rivers. And Actually, it's true, and I'll direct this to Dave so you can finally take a drink of that beer that's been sitting next to you for a few minutes here while I'm talking to Dave. Dave, people, Nova Huta gets a bad rap as being all asphalt and concrete. It's absolutely, it, it's, it's, it's actually not. Nova Huta has more, as she said, greenery 
and trees and just parks than any other part of the city. Have it's you really underrated. No, no, I haven't. But I, I would agree about the the neatness and the uh, quite high, high broad amount of avenues trees. and yeah. tree lined streets. There's lots of green. When I first there. got to crack up, you know, I was like, I'm gonna go out and have a look at Nova Hoot to see what all the fuss is about. You heard so much about. Uh, I was like, wow, is this it? It's still on your quite list. Nice. <laughs> okay. now, there's there are some nice places, I guess. Um, I don't know about the, the the places with running water, moving water for kayaks. So there's a huge lake. Actually, yeah. it's, a, it's not like it's a retention pond, I think, more than it's a Zalev. A retention a pond. Lagoon. <laughs> it's, a it's, a lagoon. Uh, it's a body of water, some kind. I don't know what the purpose are. Not a retention pond, whatever. Geological origi- origins of this lake. I don't think it's an actual proper lake, but it's, actually, it's quite nice. So it's concerts yeah. there all the time, and it's a good place to take, you know, the, people, you know, rollerblading and pets and all the rest of it. It's a really, really cool place to go. Crack has got an awful lot of funky, kind of cool venues, hasn't yeah. it? You know, it's not just the. The Rennec and, you know, parts of Kashmir. And it's, a, it's a big city out there. And people, obviously, when you travel, it's hard to learn about these secret little little things. And you're always going to get those major things first when you're when you're doing your research. Or even when you live there for a little while, it can feel like you get in a rut and it's hard to figure. But there's, like, endless things. The longer you live here, you're still going to be finding new stuff. And this kayaking and overhooter thing is really new and it's, a really, it's really nice to see that anyway discovering these new parts um i have to say i haven't heard of any of these things on your list it's very interesting for me <laughs> yes. yeah. there we go well i've done my job well then yes you have very well curated <laughs> um what else have we got i'll go back to the festival oh actually before that um this weekend there's also vegan mania vegan mania uh-huh i'm guessing none of you guys are vegan <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? Yeah, no, you guessed correctly. <laughs> that means she's good right. at guessing. She's absolutely right, but what does that mean? I'm also a psychic. I didn't tell you that. That's actually how I knew, know all of these things. Vegan I didn't do any mania. research. Vegan mania. Vegan, vegan mania. Okay, so what, what, you many things what do we do? Thing. Or actually, I should say, what do other people do at vegan mania? Basically, eat vegan food. Yeah, there's okay. like, have you guys been to Nayad Zenia Fest? Or... Heard of it. Um, Kiermash or any of these sort of big food festivals. See, this is why we, we brought you in here, Catherine, because we don't, we don't know anything about yeah. this stuff. Have you Educate seen us. any of these big food festivals uh, I've across heard about no, the big food festivals going to the mall. I go to the food truck festival beside Galeria yeah, Casuals oh, yeah, because it's right beside yeah. my house, and uh, there, there's <laughs> like thirty maybe food trucks. It's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, apart from that. But you never that's... ended up at Forum, like after after a night of dancing, and you were still at Forum on a Sunday morning, no. and then all of a sudden you were surrounded by half of the Dave city. Dave hasn't danced since he was like six years old. Yeah, now the forums really come into its own in the last few years. Uh, uh, tremendous to see them using such a such an ugly scare on the city uh, to, <laughs> to such amazingly uh, hipsterish effect. It's amazing down there. My brother in law is always talking about it. Uh, you know, he loves it uh, down there. Well, but I wouldn't have much experience because it was it became so cool. Yeah. Um, they've moved it somewhere else. You know, because keep it cool. yeah. yeah, exactly. You're gonna keep it cool. But now Nyads in your fest is gonna be. Oh, this time it's gonna be at Starry Kleppage. Um, that is like a food market, basically. This one's not vegan, but Naya Zinia Fest is like a regular, like every month or every few months. And there's all the local producers, all of the, all of the, like lots of restaurants come down, lots of sort of independent people, lots of little cafes, all, all different kinds of local stuff comes down. And it's really nice. It actually really gives a nice boost to the economy and there's a huge diversity and you can just walk around and eat as if you're in like the most all-inclusive Millionaire's restaurant in in the world. You sold that well. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like a mug for I've never gone before. You know. Well, vegan mania. Never having gone before. Vegan mania will be at Stare Stare Yet. Man, okay, you got to give me Go on. a moment for the pronunciation. Stare Zayeznia. Very good. I see, Don. Which is the old tram depot yeah. in Kajime. Yeah, everybody knows that place now. Of course. And um, that will be the vegan version of that this Sunday. It's been touring around uh, Poland. The vegans and are now taking over. To... They're taking over. Another wonderful venue. Brilliant. Yeah. What they did with that place was just tremendous. Anywhere with the deck chair yeah. is, is good. Yeah, yeah, really. yeah, yeah. The whole street, uh, Babjean chair as well. What's your favorite vegan back? dish, Dave, by the way? Uh, well, like, I mean, you can have a good vegan Thai curry, you know I mean? Like, let's not be uh, br- small-minded, John, you know? No, I'll, I'll be small-minded. I'll, I'll stay with small-minded. I did have the Bacon King for lunch today. Oh, delicious. Bacon King. Mm. Mm, bacon. Not vegan at all, but... Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, Catherine, we were getting off on a tangent here. <laughs> oh, okay. What's, uh, apart from the vegans 
everywhere on every street in the city. They're taking over, I'm telling you. Uh, what else we got going on here? Well, there's also Kiermash. That's another big market that's happening. Yeah. And it's similar to the food ones, except it's food and, like, polished design, really. And it's local designers, local, again, like, all the local shops and really independent people. People can just set up a store there and stuff from all over Poland as well. And where does this take place? This one is in, this is another one that I'm going to have to pronounce. (laughs) Chichotka. Pałac Chichotka. Yep. Okay. Which I'm pretty sure is in Novi Bejanov, but just Google Kiermash. Oh, Hohotka, I think it's a Hohotka. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I was more there for maybe. a wedding last weekend, but I can't remember. Yeah. It's a beautiful place, nice. though. I've heard of that, yeah. too. Suddenly I'm embarrassed. I'm like you, I'm embarrassed from not having knowing more about these places and stuff. It's, suddenly there's a whole world outside of my apartment I didn't know about. Yeah. There's still loads of districts that I've never been to, yeah. though. So many days well, I just think you haven't been here for 20 years like I have. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, <laughs> that's a, little that's more a bit, for me. yeah. And you ride a bike everywhere, dude. You're like all over the but place. I ride the bike, my bike on the same streets over and over. <laughs> and then stuff changes as well, you know. Sorry, I forgot to ask. Let's back up, Catherine. Uh, how long have you lived here in Krakow? I forgot to ask earlier. I've been here almost four years now. Okay, almost So not quite years. 20, but so a you, decent little chunk. But yeah, I imagine you know more about these places than the three of us put together, so we're... <laughs> We're stuck in our ways. Well, so, by the time I'm done with you. So a, yeah, this is oh, a very oh. trendy list, though, I have to say. <laughs> so the food scene out there is really, really active and, and mm-hmm. happening for anybody who, you know, takes the time to, you know, find out about this kind of thing, I guess. Yeah, it's super diverse and it's always changing. And there's, I think, with both design and food, there's, like, a lot of support from these these festivals especially and a lot of different things there's so many people opening new things and and sort of i don't know expanding as well it's really nice to see i i haven't seen that in a lot of other countries the kind of support there is here for new independent and small businesses yeah it just occurred to me that maybe the calendar is especially busy over the next month or so because this is pretty much the end of the time of year when you can have a nice semi outdoor event you know know, gatherings Mm -hmm. you wouldn't have this kind of thing in the middle of winter would you well, you do actually. Okay, I give up. I you, you'll see in the middle of winter. This is actually this month is actually quite slow compared to a lot of the other ones. And if we were talking, say, two months ago, then we probably would have had to have double the length of episode, or we would have just given up altogether. Wow. We just wouldn't have done it because it would have been overwhelming, and we would have Mad. ended up just laying on the floor. How about a uh, lot of food being served? In the, in the, how about the, the music scene, maybe, or? Um concerts that kind of thing any other big events apart, apart from second oh, yeah okay well i'll run you through the festivals coming up festivals like plural festivals yep so <laughs> after sacrum profanum we have on the 22nd of september the 52nd organ music days nice. so you can imagine what that is like beautiful venues all of these classical sort of architectural places churches and you know beautiful places beautiful moving music on the 27th, we have the 9th Sfogato Music and Arts Festival. Um, Sfogato um, is inspired, the name is inspired by a, a song from Chopin. It was actually a ballad slash nocturne about a couple in love whose life is momentarily in jeopardy. So that just tells you everything you need to know about mm. the festival, in my opinion. Take a moment, just... Yeah, let's just appreciate that. Just stare into the sky. (laughs) Thousand mile stare. (laughs) On the 28th of September, we've got the International French Song Festival, the Edith Piaf Grand Prix. Yeah. So if you don't know who Edith Piaf is, then type her into YouTube because... (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm not going to sing it right now. Follow her on Facebook. (laughs) But if you haven't ever belted out one of her songs in the shower she's definitely worth listening to and this uh concert or this festival might be a good place to to hear some of her songs or some of the other wonderful french music out there because we know the french are just good at everything so on the 5th of october we've also got the 10th cracovia music festival so that's a good thing to check out we've also got the 15th biennial disabled people's art festival Nice. A wonderful thing to support. And I think that's it for festivals this month. But who knows? I've got a long list here and I might, I might, something might come back to me. It all gets a bit lost. We've covered food. We've got 
uh, concerts of various kinds. What other events can there be, Dave? What, what are we missing here? Boxing? Uh, <laughs> we went to see a magic truck? show in Krakow. Have you seen that? Monster truck. Monster trucks would be great. We'd love and a monster a magic truck show. show. I'd love to see both Such of them. I'd love to see a magic monster truck show. <laughs> You'll have to beat <laughs> us for tickets for that one. Monster trucks are magic. <laughs> yeah, definitely go check out uh, Mihal and Mihal at the Krakow Magic Show. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, they're wonderful. Something that's almost as like grand and magical as a monster truck magic show, actually. At Vavo Castle on the 22nd and 23rd, there's going to be this thing called Alhimia Shviatwa. Have you heard of that? Um, I can pretend that? that I have or I can just say no. <laughs> well, it's faster. so much culture. <laughs> We've got a limo. Well, it's a, what is it? It's a light and sound multimedia extravaganza. All right, this Ooh. sounds like a Pink Floyd light show I saw yeah. when I was like 17. It could be similar. And it's got the word extravaganza in it. So uh, it has to be good. Obviously, then. exactly. Okay. Um You'll be immersed in a fairy tale dimension where you follow the symbolic story of Poland, I think, as told by a talking tree. Yeah, nice. talking tree. There'll be pyrotechnics, laser, singing, dancing, live theatre, and it's won a whole bunch of awards. And I watched. If you if you go watch the preview of it, it hasn't. It was. It's been here once in 2015, and it takes over the whole of the castle, and. Just just go Google that. Alhemius Fiat, well, Alchemy of Light in, in English. Look it up on YouTube. Watch the watch the short because it looks incredible. But wait, wait. Is this something that you view from inside the castle, like in the courtyard yeah. or from... Oh, inside. Okay. Yeah, inside. And this is something for... That sounds pretty cool. Kids, adults, all ages. Everybody. Or, uh-huh. Everybody. Okay. It looks Sounds amazing. Cool, actually, yeah. okay. If you've ever wanted to try drugs, but you're scared, this is, probably... <laughs> this is the time to do I it. I was just yeah. thinking crack of skateboard, a uh, stoner crowd are going to be lying <laughs> over the gates for this one. Best show ever, man. Yeah. It's an awful lot of dreadlock people in the sea. <laughs> um, what else have we got? On the 22nd of September, there's the Night of the Temples. You know how we've got like mu- uh, Nod's Museum, like yeah, the Night right. of the Museums, sure. the Night of, what else is there? There's lots uh, of nights. The Night of... Some kind of vegan festival, I'm sure. <laughs> Opera, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there's that one. There's, well, there's lots of different nights in Krakow. They love to have the whole night taken night over. Night of the temples. Yeah, night of the temples. What kind of temples are we talking about here? All the temples. Are we talking like religious temples? Yeah. Maybe there's other kinds as well. Uh, but what, what, what are some of the like, specifically? I mean, because I think temple, I think the, the Jewish temples. I don't think. Yeah, the Jewish temples. And the, it's like all the denominations. Oh, okay. How many denominations do you think there are? Like, I, I, I know there's definitely synagogues and there's definitely churches. So there's various houses of worship are open yeah. during this night. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I imagine in a city like, like Can you Krakow, get a drink in them? Or like, is it, like, you just, can sneak one into anywhere, really. Yeah, I mean, just are they writing on you like, with some refreshments? <laughs> Mix it with some lemonade. Light show. Never got a, they might have um, vegan snacks. That would be good. Go I for a beer there in be oh, That'd be cool. So the night, of the t- <laughs> so basically, you can go to church at night. That's that's the idea. Yeah, and they'll tell you things, and but I think there's some of them that you're not usually quite allowed in, or you know, and they'll have different things. Like with night of the museums, they'll have some workshops. They'll have like some stuff. guided tours, yeah. some special sort of displays or whatever set up, special information, and I don't know. I get they'll probably be all lit up, to be honest, and. All right, give us, like, over the next month or so, like, let's say you personally, let's say you had to pick three events that you definitely want to check out. What are your top three? Oh, he's putting mm. you on the spot now. Let me have, a, let me have another Pressure. sort of yeah, take sip a swig of there. Take If a swig it was me, and, John, uh, and I know you didn't ask me, but I'm like, I'll go, ask you too. I might go for the days? light show, that weird uh, concert hide-and-go-seek thing the you described at the start, <laughs> cool. and maybe, um, maybe, yeah, well, you know, why not? Check it out. What's yours? The Freedom Festa. Uh, freedom. <laughs> vegan. Freedom. All vegan. the vegan. Free the vegans. <laughs> um, top three. Okay. One that I haven't mentioned yet would definitely be in my top three. Oh, you're cheating now. Because, all right, well, go ahead. Was it a, like uh, no, a backwards no, no, no. I mean, top you know, three? You want to do the research next time? Make up the <laughs> as you go along. I was okay. saving the best for last. Oh, okay. Secret, <laughs> secret top three. <laughs> okay, fermentation fest. Oh, I like the sound of this one. <laughs> oh, There's going to be beer at this. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you ever heard of fermentation? I don't know. It's like yeah, so, yeah. maybe you've never heard of it, but half of the foods that you eat are fermented. Especially Poland is obsessed with fermentation. And it's just the one thing they needed a festival for. You guys know Eat Away? Yes. Mm -hmm. Eat Away is this wonderful organization in Krakow that opens people's houses. They have local cooks and lots of different international meals that you can have every day of the week pretty much. But once a year, 
um, we can go out to the founder of Itaway's house in Matsiporemba, which is just outside of Krakow. It's this gorgeous little village. Like, just close your eyes for a minute. Close your eyes. Closed. Now imagine the most idyllic little village. Imagine a little farmhouse on top of a hill. There's trees coming mm. over. There's sunlight dappling through the trees. Mm. Children laughing, swinging in hammocks. Fires burning gently, smoke coming off of the outdoor barbecue and the smoker. There's plums roasting in the smoker. People picking cherries off of the trees. Homemade alcohol everywhere. (laughs) This is this is the this is the scenario. Is there a light show involved here? (laughs) (laughs) If you close your eyes there after you. Oh, okay. I'm in. I'm in. It's it's basically absolutely magical. This is the first one was last year. This is the second one. I'm definitely going. Because it's the most, like, it's just a wonderful group of people, all different kinds of people. There's loads of different chefs that come. There's workshops teaching you how to ferment things, which is a skill for life and for the apocalypse. Can we go back? I have to ask a ignorant yeah, question here. I'm, I'm exposing myself to brutal <laughs> That was a poetic abuse. Sound, you know, thank, you, yeah, thank you. Uh, apart from, like, I can think of cabbage. And what, what, are, what are some of the other fermented foods that we eat? Does anybody know? Vodka. Food. <laughs> Food, I said. Cabbage. Beer. Pickles. Pickles, okay. uh, mushrooms, sourdough bread, a lot of different bread, yeah, okay. cheese, bread. jurek, a lot of different soups, actually. You can pickle pretty much anything, actually. That like any good. fruit or vegetable, you can pickle. And what else is there? Um, uh, there's, what's it called, kimchi. There's yeah. a lot of... Korean, you know, uh, exactly, you know. a lot of Korean what things. Is that cabbage? What is that? Yeah, it is cabbage. Yeah, yeah. it's Fermented Korean cabbage, cabbage with lots of spices. Which is, people have become absolutely obsessed with in Krakow, and I think that the fermentation festival kicked that off, if I do say. And last year, Those Koreans we know learned... how to ferment. <laughs> <laughs> Masters. We learned sourdough, how to make sourdough last year from the guy who invented, wait for this, this has changed everybody who's listening's lives, frozen pastry. Well, who invented frozen pastry? Yeah. Like the roll little pastry sheets you can buy mm-hmm. in the supermarket? They didn't exist before this guy. Man, I love them because you can He's make a, a pie hero. then in a bowl. Like You exactly. just have to make the fill and stick it on top, you a little bit of butter in the oven, 20 inside. minutes, you get yourself a pie. You feel like you've cooked, it's delicious, yeah. it's unhealthy, but because you cooked it, you feel like it's healthy. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was Gordon Ramsay. It might have been a lesser, like, uh, such as Mr. Oliver, but I'm pretty sure he said on, the show, on his cooking show, there's just no point trying to make your own because you won't make it as good as this. You know, yeah, so and then he held up a, a post or a shrine of this guy. Well, I don't sure. know about that, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he should have. <laughs> Catherine, i got to drag you back to the top three here. Fermentation, mm-hmm. you got two more slots. <laughs> Talk about the history of pastry, dude. Yes. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Greedy. Okay, uh, I will choose also, there is at Spitalna a thing called Story Party with uh, true dating stories. And this is on the 25th of September. And basically people come and they stand up and they humiliate themselves and tell <laughs> their terrible, terrible stories of their horrible experiences. I've seen something like that. I seen something like that in Melbourne in on Brunswick Street. It was just like this this hell yeah. story thing. I thought it was hilarious. I've never seen that yeah. like in my life. Uh, they were very, very funny, some of them. Yeah. It's like social media on on like real life so some <laughs> kind of therapeutic aspect to this maybe you know kind of no, it's just funny future. it's a great idea everyone's it's got one hilarious. great story is the idea kind of. <laughs> what's the, sorry what's it called again story party slash true dating stories at spitana yeah Dan. that sounds like wow. a good option all right round out your yeah. top three here yeah okay last one i'm gonna choose um the opera <laughs> I know it's not for everybody. What, what's so special about this this particular opera? I just love the but, opera. I, uh, to be honest, I'm happy with like any opera because operas are just like you wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. Are you making your third choice? The opera, like just generally, not, General, a, the not opera. a particular production, not a particular date, even just you just want to go to the opera. Well, I was looking actually at their program for the next two months, and, and there were so many that I wanted to see. I couldn't choose. I was trying to choose just one to buy some tickets to because. It's just, it's the same as like this, also this Vival Light show. It's kind of like an opera, you know? There's well, in fairness, the Opera House, we're talking about the, the new one on, on Lubitsch, the kind of mm-hmm. strange, I don't know, what kind of architectural style is that from? It's red, for Christ's sake. It's, but anyway, <laughs> they, do have, they do have an impressive lineup of. Uh, it is red. It's, it's red. red. <laughs> what do you call it? The architectural you need to go to this style. architectural red. workshop. Is yeah, that, that, was, that was beautifully described, wasn't it? <laughs> what, what have we got here? It's red. Fermentation. <laughs> Humiliate yourself in some stories and a red opera. I love that. <laughs> it sounds, sounds like a wild weekend to yeah. me. 
Catherine, thanks very much for stopping by. Uh, tell everybody again uh, where they can go to find out more about Local Life. On Local Life, <laughs> <laughs> you can go to our Facebook, which is Local Life. I think it's just Local Life. It's the green one with a little arrow if you're confused. Just type in Local Life. There's not that many. It's the green one with the little arrow. That's it. Local Life Krakow. You can find that on Facebook or go to locallife.com slash Krakow or just type in locallife.com because we've got little things for cities all over the world that might help you. Uh, we've also got a Twitter. Just type in Local Life Krakow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks for coming in, Excellent. Excellent. Excellent listage. Excellent. Thank you.